What's going on guys? It's Kudace. Hey guys, before we get into the packs, I just want to say that I'm giving away Classic Reptile, yep, the diamond card, for free for iOS or Android. Just go down in the link in the description, kudeshop slash discord and enter in. It's a poll though. Remember, it's a poll, which means you do have a chance of losing. It's a pretty high chance of losing. But that 1% chance of winning, it's worth entering in. So yeah, just come on the Discord server and enter in the giveaway. Enjoy the video before Black Friday hits. Because one of the biggest questions I get is, what are the upcoming soul packs? And what do you think they're going to do for Black Friday? Now to answer the first question, what are the upcoming soul packs? That's the thing. There is no way to know what the soul packs are going to be. A hundred percent but but big but we can take a look at last year and the year prior and base our predictions off of actual things that happened and currently we actually did have discounts recently so we can go off of that so it's not something like MK Mobile has never had any discounts and ever since so it's not gonna be like that it's gonna be judging off of past experience and also what happened recently. So first off, what did they do for 2020? And we're gonna cover 2019 as well and share the similarities, but first off, what did they do for 2020? Well, for 2020, for 2020, we had the Outworld Diamond Pack, the Guardian Terminator Pack, and we also had the Classic Ninja Pack, the Rowan Diamond Pack, and the Circle Shadows Pack, I'm pretty certain as well along with uh, like Cold War and things like that. Uh, I'm not entirely sure on that. I think that we had the classic Diamond Pack and Rowan, but we also had the Renegade Diamond Pack, which included Black Shag and Aaron Block, and I will be putting pictures of all this stuff on screen. The classic Ninja Pack actually caused a message to appear, which gave back everybody their souls who purchased the pack. So they're probably not going to do that one again, because it turned out to be a huge failure. Hopefully they discount something like the classic noob side pack so you want to know what do i think they're gonna do and how much do you think that they're gonna discount for these packs well taking into consideration what they did for halloween we can base our um judgment off of that so for halloween we had a 33 percent discount but something interesting happened mortal kombat raised the price of the pack by 80 souls so they raised it up by 80 souls and then they discounted it by 33%. But it was actually 280 souls um, for the last Halloween before that. So what do I think they're going to do? Well, I think they're going to raise the price of the pack possibly and make the discount not as good as last year. Now before you go, oh, this is like a problem with WB. Mm, okay, listen, I think that's just what they're going to do. Um, whether it's good or not, I'm not going to go into that whole debacle, but judging off of what they did for Halloween, we can kind of grasp a little bit of what they might do for Black Friday. And what packs do I think they are going to drop? Well, first off, I do think they're going to drop the Outworld Diamond Pack. It was 268 souls last year, and it was a 9% chance to get the Outworld characters. Um, not a good pack. I don't recommend it, but I do think they're going to drop it again. The problem is, is that people think that they're just going to drop the same exact packs for last year and this year. And I kind of disagree a little bit, but not very much. I think they're just going to mix it up just a little bit. Not, not too much, but just a little bit because we have some newer packs like the classic Jade pack and whatnot. So I think they're gonna maybe experiment a little bit with it. Like Instead of putting the classic Ninja pack as the last pack, hopefully the classic female Ninja pack, because I like Jade and I'm hoping that they actually bring her back and maybe even discount the pack. Although it's probably just gonna be limited to 10 as always. And then I do think they're gonna drop the Renegade Diamond pack. It's a pretty cool one. Um, it's not amazing. It's also a 9% chance. And then for the classic ninja pack, yeah, that's what I think they're going to do is just mix it up. But that is 2020. Now let's go take a look at 2019. Now the thing about 2019 is that on Black Friday or a little bit before Black Friday, they decided to drop every single pack all at once. So the big difference is 
that they dropped it all at once rather than doing it consecutively. This is a huge difference. So as you can see, I'm going to put some pictures on the screen. Circle Shadows Pack, Cold War Pack, um, Revenant, Diamond Pack, and of course those characters are not called Revenant, they're called Circle Shadows now. This was 2019, so they had not changed the names of the characters. And then they also did Ronin Pack and Strike Force Diamond Pack. Strike Force would be one of the best ones to bring back in my opinion. Strike Force is a great, great pack. And whether it takes like 100,000 souls to max them out, it's not really that big of a deal. They're definitely worth every soul that you spend. And that is all I have when it comes to previous Black Fridays and what I think they're going to do. Um, I think they're definitely going to do Guardian Terminator because we haven't had his pack in a while. But not too long because it was only a couple months ago I did a video on him again. But I, they usually have his pack discounted. Um, it takes about like forty to 60000 to max him out on a brand new account if um, you're opening up that pack. For any like existing accounts, the prices vary, but I like to show it on a new account because if a new player needs to open up the pack, that's uh, usually the kind of the base statistic to go off of. And then we also had some packs in the background, like Assassin pack and whatnot, and I don't think those packs are going to return. See, like, yeah, they had other packs like Elite Martial Artist um, and whatnot in the background, so it's crucial to take that into consideration. But this was a different time in Mortal Kombat. When Black Friday came around last year, we didn't have permanent MK11 packs, so they had to kind of change things up every now and then. And the Assassin pack, honestly, I'd like to say that we need it, but... <laughs> Although you can't, we can't get the characters otherwise, those packs were not very popular to begin with. So I'm wondering what they're going to do about those packs and whether they're going to rotate some things out. But for now, that is the information that I have on Black Friday. And I just think they're going to tweak the soul count a little bit and change up the order slightly. Maybe put a different pack here and there, but not repeat the same exact packs as last year. I personally don't believe that. But that is what they did for the year and the year before that. Just to get a huge big understanding, I do think they are going to do discounts this year. A lot of people were thinking they're not going to do any discounts because it's NRS and they hadn't done a lot of discounts in a while. But for Black Friday, I do think they're going to do it, especially since they actually did participate in the Halloween discounts. They even made special packs and gave us soul packs. That was pretty cool of them. I wasn't expecting it, so kudos to WB. Uh, just giving us an option is very nice and appreciated for every step of the way. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you wanna see a Guardian Terminator pack opening for 200 souls, I'm gonna link it, maybe even caption it up on the top right. That's the pack that I'm excited for. Anyways guys, peace out. Chance of victory.